what is up you guys i am just in the freaking zone and i am just in the bat cave um i just thought i should just share this with you this is this is the actual email this is this is my whole onboarding uh process so when i bring on a social media client normally it's me it's me starting small with them right starting on on something simple whether it's whether it's optimizing all their social media links or running a simple facebook ad for them just to kind of boost their page or or maybe maybe boost a a, a video a, a an actual video of them introducing themselves running that as a facebook ad simple first fundamental videos um Facebook ads that I'll run for clients, right? It's normally how I onboard. It's normally how I bring them on. I start them small and then scale up into a monthly retaining client. That's kind of been my strategy since day one. Um, so all I'm doing here is just updating and and kind of kind of re, re, re or restructuring my onboarding process. And I want to kind of just walk you through. Um, I just thought I'd kind of jump on here and, and walk you through my thought process and, and why I do it this way. Um, there's a couple reasons and, and I'll kind of walk you through it as I set them up. And this is going to be more of a boring video. This is literally a, a, just a day in the life. This is stuff I had to do. And so I just, I just thought I'd share it with you. Um, so here's kind of how I do it. Here's how I do it. Um, when I onboard a client and, 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 and I end up bringing them on, right? Grabbing the credit card, processing the payment, um, this is the second email that goes out. The first email that goes to them is a receipt for the actual transaction, right? I grab their visa, their MasterCard, whatever. I grabbed it, ran, a, ran, ran the card on my end through Stripe, and then, and then Stripe emails them their receipt, right? So that's, that's one email that they get, and I always notify them. I'll, I'll, I'll always give them a heads up. I'll say, hey, you're going to get two emails. You're going to get one email that says that that's your receipt. That's your confirmation. That's your, your, you know, your, your, your record for your, for the transaction. And then the second email is going to be an email titled, it was great speaking with you. Um, and it's actually, and they end up getting three emails because here's how I end up doing it. This is an email that I'll just manually sent to them, right? This is not part of my email autoresponder. Um, it's an email that I sent them. So right when I'm speaking to them, we're done. Boom. I bring them aboard. This is the email they, they, that they get. And so when I do my, my, my um, presentations, when I'm speaking to social media clients, it's not a phone call. It's a Zoom call just like this where I visually share my screen. So we're looking at their Facebook page. We're looking at their Instagram. We're looking at their, their ads manager and going over different Facebook ads. Um, and so what I end up doing is I end up um, screen sharing them just like this. And then because my face is not on camera, right? Because I'm not, I'm not on webcam. Like I'll tell the client, I'll say, Hey, we're going to, we're going to do zoom, but it's not, it's not video. It's just voice and you'll see my screen. And I, I tell that to them in the email that I send them when I'm booking the appointment. So they'll, they'll, they'll know that it's not even a, a, a video. So 10 out of 10 times, my clients won't even see me like this. They won't even visually see my face, not like my YouTube videos where I'm showing my whole face, right? It's like this, and all it is is my voice. So what I do to really break the ice after I bring them aboard is I actually send them a video of me. And so I'll manually send them this email, and then I'll hyperlink it. So let me hyperlink it, and I'm going to be sending them to this page right here. So I'll tell you what that page consists of. but um, two reasons why I do it. So here's what it is. So it was great speaking with you. Thank you, Stacy, for your time. Click here to start step one. So let me, all I'm doing is I'm saving that. I'm sending it to myself so I can save it over here. And now, now I can save it right there. So this is the email, right? This is the email. Okay. So it was great speaking with you. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy, for your time. Click here to start step one. So that's what I'm doing is while I'm on the phone with them, while I'm grabbing that credit card, I say, okay, great. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on step one and step two, which is my onboarding process. As I'm saying, I start them small and then we scale up to step three, step four, step five. And all step three is, is future is, is daily Facebook ads. Step four is landing page. And that's when I bring Kartra into the mix. Um, and then step five is the email autoresponder. As we're capturing leads on the internet, as we're capturing leads through Facebook or Instagram advertising, right? As we're capturing leads, those leads are going into a CRM. Those leads are going to an e going into an email autoresponder. And that's step five. That's Kartra again. So 
when I bring them on for step one and two, they'll end up clicking on this right here and it takes them straight to a one pager, um, all set up through Kartra. So there's a 14 day trial. You guys can play around with the software. It's for my landing pages and my email autoresponder and my calendar. So, and my membership course and my video hosting and my affiliate marketing. Damn, profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14 day trial right below. But this page was built through Kartra. And all I do is now they get to see me. Now it's a video of David, right? And all I'm doing on this video is I'm thanking them. Let me, let me see if you guys can hear it. I'm thanking them and then I'm telling them what to expect. I'm introducing myself because they haven't seen me on video yet unless they've watched other YouTube videos. But um, this is when they finally, okay, great. He just, he just processed my credit card. This is the second email that I'm getting. Now I finally get to see the face, right? So now I'm really creating that bond. I'm, I'm building that relationship. Um, and I'm really breaking that ice with a simple intro video and then telling them what to expect in the next, you know, few emails. So I'll just play a few of a short clip for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys for getting this far with me. Uh, now it's time to start step one and get the ball rolling. Um, we'll be focused on step one and step two. So what I want you to do is you're going to click the link below and it's going to take you to a simple form. Um, you can enter your name and email, and right away you'll be you'll, uh, you'll receive an email titled "Email David." This will be a simple email with all of your all of your uh, social media platforms that I'll need access to. Okay, but make sure, please make sure that the passwords and the information is correct, because it just ends up slowing us down if we cannot log in at LinkedIn or if we cannot log in at Pinterest because the password is incorrect. Or so you guys, and then they click on this. And then right away, let's hack it real quick. I'll, sh I'll show you what. So Dave, and then I'll just put, um, and then game time. And then so boom, right when they opt in. So here's the deal. They landed on that video page, right? I Facebook pixeled them. They entered their name and email. They, they came to a thank you page. I Facebook pixeled them. And I also put them in a custom audience where now Facebook is reading their IP and that person is a legit standard event, I guess you can call it, in my custom audience. I, 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 um, per, I optimize it under purchase. That's the custom conversion. So um, I'm able to track all this, you guys. I'm able to track all this. And before I wasn't doing it, I wasn't doing it this way. And a lot of times, a lot of you guys will simply take that info, right? You bring aboard a client and then you'll just maybe manually input it into a CRM or whatever. Dude, we want to be able to track it. Like, for example, and, and that's tracking it through Facebook, I should say. Let me, let me rephrase that. Let me make that very clear. It's tracking it through Facebook. When they land on this page, I emailed them, then this, they clicked on the link. Facebook is now tracking their end right? So Facebook, I got my pixel tracking their activity. They land on this page and then boom, right when they opt in, they land on this page. Okay. Um, and again, that's the whole reason, man. I bring them here so I can Facebook pixel them and I can build that custom audience. So when I go run future Facebook ads for this specific, for these specific reasons, I can exclude them from ever seeing an ad because they're already a client. They're already a client. So why, why, do, why do I you need to show ads to them, right? So that right there, you guys, is something super basic, super, super simple. And that's the process of onboarding a client because that Facebook tr tracking, that activity is, 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 is the data you want to start building custom audiences and excluding or including them in your targeting when you're running Facebook ads. So that right there, you guys, I, I truly believe that simplicity of, of what I just showed you right there can, can really help you in, in, in your data. Okay. And, and again, running, running super effective Facebook ads to the right people. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And then, and then once, once I send that one out manually and they opt in, then the email autoresponder now info needed. Now this is the email right here that I, that, that I was telling the client to expect. Um, and then also in that video, I'm also telling them what to expect over the next few days because now that lead that just came in, let me show you. So now let's go to sequ let's go to sequences. 
that lead that opted in, they're now on a very specific email list, right? They're on a very specific email list and it's going to be this one right here. This is a new sequence that I just put up. And that's why as I'm doing all this stuff, um, you guys are going to be able to, you, you're, you're seeing, you're seeing me in the, in, in action. So this is the, the one right here. So I'm just, I'm just revamping this entire onboarding process. And so again, that lead hits my landing page on Facebook picks on them because they opened up the email on their end. Right. And then, and then I'm tracking them through a custom audience because they're landing on that thank you page. And then that lead goes into a sequence and over the next few weeks, that person is going to get an email and that's what I was getting ready to set up. So as I come in here to this sequence, okay, so this hit communications, let's hover over communications, go to sequences. This is what I wanted to show you guys. Okay. So let's close out this one. Let's go back. Let's go back to the sequence and it's going to be this right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it. So this is a brand new sequence that I just set up and I want to kind of show you guys my whole process. So again, this is, this is my bread and butter, man. This is what I've been building as far as a, my, my daytime income, my daytime hustle, my social media agency um, since 2016. This is, and, and, and all, all I'm trying to do, man, is, 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 is leverage software and, and, and um, ease up my process, right? Make it as simple and as, and as automated as possible because these are clients of mine. These are people that I literally just onboarded. This is not something I just, you know, a random product I sold online. These are people that I just spoke to. Now, all of a sudden they're in a, they're in a sequence and I want to be able to automate this part. So rather than me physically emailing them every few many, you know, every, every, every few days, you know, shout out to, um, Mary, but she was like, David, I don't get this whole entire process. I want to just email the people as they come in. That is not what you do. Like, that's not what you do. This whole entire thing is, is, is meant for automation. As that lead comes to your landing page and they opt in, right? They come over here to your landing page, whether you're giving out a buyer guide or whether you're giving out a seller guide or whether you're giving out some type of free PDF, a free download, whatever they opt in. They come to a thank you page. You need to track that person, right? That's, again, what I've been talking about. But then also that lead is now in an email autoresponder that is designed to, to automatically send these emails out. This is how you nurture that list. So you should be able to automate the entire thing from the Facebook ad to the landing page to the email automation. That's what it's all about. And so the person who can win is the person who can advertise the most to fill up the funnel on the top end, right? It's all about getting people to that ad. First of all, it's all about getting people to that ad and all about getting people to opt in, right? And that's why on the thank you page, this right here needs to be optimized as well, especially if you're running Facebook ads, custom conversions need to be, need to be, need to be, you know, on this page for sure. But let's go back to this. This is what I really wanted to focus on was that this, this email autoresponder is what I wanted to show you. So this is what I've always had in place. And, and again, all I'm trying to do is get better, man. This is my full-time hustle. All I want to do is try to bring as much value to my clients. Um, and at the same time, automate and leverage as much as possible. So I don't have to, you know, bang my head against the wall trying to manually and physically do all this stuff myself like ain't no one got ain't no one got time for all that right we want to automate it all so in these emails you guys i want to kind of just share share a little bit about my about my my thought process in these emails okay the starting rules let's look at the starting rules real quick so again you got the email list when that person opts in they go to a very specific email list and then that list is tied to an email sequence, okay? And that's your email autoresponder. So those are all the handful of emails that you have pre-written um, that you want to dump into here and just, and just set what days or what hours you want it to go out. So the starting rules is where it all starts. Lead fills in this form, which is this opt-in page right here. So I have this form na named, you know, TSREA clients. And then the tag is also the same. So just as a backup, I'm also, you know, telling the system, anyone who has this tag, make sure that they receive these emails as well. Okay. So <clears throat> right when I onboarded that client, okay. Right when I onboarded the client, I sent them the email first, right? It was great speaking with you, right? Thank you for, thank you, Stacy, for your time. Okay. Then that person got pixeled 
and then now five and then they got and then they got another email which was which was this one over here right which was info needed so they got that one right and then that one right there was the first of the autoresponder <coughs> that went out five days later they're going to get this one okay so five days later all i'm doing man all i'm doing is staying top of mind all i'm doing is communicating with my client okay these this is for those of you that are that are freelancers that are bringing aboard clients to do marketing service or services or social media marketing services if you're building an agency when you onboard a client there needs to be a handful of emails that go out that's the whole purpose of this video okay there needs there needs to be a handful of emails that go out and so in my case I can choose the delay, right? I can choose four days later, one day later. I can choose all that. I can even choose what days they go out. Um, this is the title of the actual email, right? Or not the subject line, but it's just an, an internal title. Just wanted to say hello. And then this right here is coming from that email. The recipients subscribe to that list, okay? I want to make sure that they're subscribed to that list for sure. And then this is the actual content. So five days later, they're going to get this email. Five days later, they're going to get another email. Five days later, they're going to get another email. And each email, there's intention and there's specific reasons why they're going out. Okay, so this one right here. Just wanted to say hello and let you know our ad is live and running great. We'll reach our goal in, we'll reach our goal in, goal in no time. Please feel free to reach out um, if you need anything. As mentioned, on our previous call, this is step one and two. So I'm just telling them what's going on, right? I'm telling them what's going on. Um, I have some great video trainings coming your way, so look for my emails coming up, right? Oh, and if you if you ever need a oh, and if you if you ever need to schedule the strategy call, click here. So I'm just really giving out my info. I'm extending my gratitude. I'm extending my 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 um my open door policy, right? I'm just saying, hello, man, check your emails. If you ever need to, need to schedule a strategy call, click here. And so that, that email just wanted to reach out. Just wanted to, just wanted to reach out. Just wanted to say hello. Let's say, let's put that. Just wanted to, just wanted to say hello. Okay. And then I click on edit. And that email goes out five days later, you guys. Okay. That email goes out five days later. And then I just have a handful of emails without going into all of them and boring you guys. This next one is just, is, is a mini upsell. I'm just saying, Hey, we ran, we ran the ad. Look, look, this is going out 10 days later. Okay. So again, five days later and then five days after that. So a total of 10 days later, I'm throwing them a mini upsell. I'm offering them a mini upsell. Should we go up? And that would be up in views of a Facebook ad, or that'd be go up in likes of a Facebook ad. So I'm, I'm throwing a little upsell on them and saying, Hey man, should we add more fuel to the flame? Should we, should we add more budget to the ad? So I'm taking them through a mini upsell right here, which it, which works phenomenal. And then five days later, time to catch local leads. So here is this email. This whole email is going to be designed to schedule a call. Now, in my case, what I'm moving to is I'm moving to courses. I'm moving to teaching people how to fish. That's my whole thing in 2020 um, is to teach my clients how to fish, not how, not how to fish for them anymore. Like before, prior to, let's just say shit, let's just call it today. Prior from, prior, prior, prior from today, um, this email was designed to, to get them to schedule a, a call with me. So now it's time, now it's time, time to capture local leads. This whole email, let me, let me pull it up. And if it's still written that way, I'm going to, I'm going to change it right here in real time because now I want this whole, I'm going to have this whole thing. Okay. Now that we got step one and two out of the way, it's time to have some local funds. Step three is all about local lead capture. This is when we start targeting your local area with Facebook ads to capture buyer and seller leads. Here's a video of me explaining how powerful, effective this can be. Watch here. And this is going to be a video, you guys, where I take them to a Kartra page so I can Facebook pixel them, right? And then it's going to be a video of me explaining what the next step is. And I'm just going to be walking them through. Um, walk, and so they click here. There'll also be an image right here where they can click on the image and go straight to the page. 
all it is is a page like this. That's all it is. It's going to be a page like this with a video on it. That's all it is. And then down here will be a button, a call to action button. And the call to action button is going to be to either schedule a call or to register for a webinar that I'm going to be putting together. So now I'm really automating. I want to start teaching people how to do this themselves. And that's going to be all through my course. So this email is set up. Um, this is what I need to finalize. So I'll finish that. Um, I'm just kind of walking you through what I got going on, you guys. And so these emails that go out, again, were designed and are designed to get them to, to, to throw a little upsell, a little mini upsell. Um, and that was, that was uh, this one, right? Here. Actually, that was, should we go up? So 10 days later, I'm trying to upsell them. And then, and then 15 days, a total of 15 days later, I'm going to be getting them onto a webinar. Okay, getting them onto a webinar. And then this one right here, how to capture leads on social media. This one right here is I'll be explaining landing pages and, and getting them maybe on the Kartra software, right? That's where my affiliate link would be placed. Or it'd be, it'd be again, getting them to register for a webinar, which I believe that's what it's going to be. So um, this will be an email that I'll have to write out. So I still need to write out this one, which I will. Um, I have a ton of great and this so that that email this is how this is how you capture leads okay so this email this is going out 20 days later after that client opted in right this is not your normal lead right i'm telling you this is this is a client that i'm onboarding this is my social media clients these are my social media clients so um it's that one right there and then i got to write out um this one what happens after you capture the lead? So now, now we're talking about email automation. So there's going to be an email that I put together. Um, and I'm going to have, I'm going to have them going to going to a webinar. So that's going to be this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them out by their first name. So I copy that control V on a PC, Jack, Here's what happens, and it might be long. Here's what happens after you capture the lead, Jack. Here's what happens after you capture the lead. Okay, perfect. And then I got to write this email out. And what I'm going to be doing again is driving them to a webinar, driving them to a webinar where I end up um, offering them my actual training course. Okay. So these are emails, you guys, that I got to write out that I'm putting together. And I just thought I'd share this part with you. Um, this is just one aspect of it. And then right here, let's chat. Um, and I'm going to change that to. Instead of let's chat, because I'm not trying to get them back on the phone anymore. What I'm and that's the thing, you guys. Um. You know, this right here is how, so those of you that, that are trying to get people on the phone, right? You're trying to get your client to schedule an appointment to maybe upsell them or, or offer them even more services. Um, this is the process. And in your email, there'll be a link to your calendar. That's where my Karcher calendar comes in handy because at this point in the series, look, we're already 25 days. Look, this is the last email. So we went from the starting rule. That was day one. And then five days later, 10, 15, 20. 25 30 days later right i touched them already that many times i've touched them one i first when i when they opt in that's first of all i'm touching them when i'm speaking to them right that's one quote unquote touch when it comes to marketing that's one touch right when i was speaking to them the second touch is when they're seeing me on video i'm emailing them the third touch is when they get the email of info needed right away and then i'm touching them for five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm touching them nine times in a 30 day period. I already took them for a few hundred or whatever, right? That small initial startup, right? And I'm closing a lot of clients like that per week. That's what allows me to keep my, keep the wheels going, right? And then at the end of the month, what I would always end up doing is is when these emails are going out, I'd have, I'd have clients at that point scheduling appointments ready for the next step. And so that's how I, how I did it 2017, actually, well, 2018, 2019. And so all I'm saying now is that this one is not going to be a chat anymore. I don't want to chat anymore. I want to help you 
I want to help you and take you to the next level. And that's going to help. And, and the way I, I truly believe that's going to happen is by teaching you how to fish, right? Teaching you how to fish and, 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 and showing you how to do it all yourself. Okay, so this is not going to be let's chat ASAP. Um, let's name this one because, again, the whole purpose is to get them to, to watch my webinar. Um, and, and again, you guys, let me, let, me, let me make this clear. This is one organic, I should say, method of me getting people to my webinar where all the traffic is going to be coming for the webinar is through paid traffic, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads. But this is just the handful of clients that I get that I onboard weekly. This is the process I take them through. This is the email series that I take them through. Okay. Um, and again, for the last year or so, my whole objective was to get them back on the phone and then get them as a monthly retaining client at that point. But that's going to be changing. That's going to be changing. Um, I want to, I want to get people to the webinar. So this one's going to, instead of let's chat ASAP, this is going to be, um, watch this video ASAP. Okay. Watch this video ASAP. And again, that's just the title. That's an internal um, name of that email. It's not the subject line. It could be the subject line. See how it's just an internal title. Watch this video ASAP under communications. But I can also, I can also make that the subject line. This is the subject line right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the title the same. And I'm going to go first name, watch, let's go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do I'm going to go video, watch, ASAP. Okay. And then I got to write this out. Okay. So let's copy this. Let's put this over here and then I'm going to write, I got to write this out. So click here to schedule strategy call. This is going to be click here to register. Let's click here to register. Click here to register. Okay. And then edit. And that's going to be an email that I got to write out. So that's what I'm doing, you guys. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Again, when I would onboard a client, I start them small, and then and then my whole business model was to take them through this email sequence, which worked phenomenal, to get to get them back on the phone so I can bring them on as monthly clients, which is the next step. Um, but again, in this case, I'm I'm kind of moving my business model around where I want to get them to register for a webinar. Okay, so I'm gonna so so this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring value, bring value, bring value, bring value, get them to get them to register. So that's how I have it set up, you guys. And the software I use is Kartra. I use Kartra for all of it. Um, Profitwithkartra.online. There's a 14-day trial below, but I use it for my digital products to sell my products, my email autoresponder, which is my communications, my pages, my forms, my, my membership courses, my video hosting, my calendar, affiliate marketing. So I, do, I, I use it for so many things, man, online. So 14-day trial, try it out, but just... Automate your process, man. Automate your onboarding process. Automate um, your business. You know, that's what it's all about in 2020, man. It, it, the automation starts at the Facebook ad. That's the beauty of running paid traffic is that while you're sleeping or, what, or, or while you're out on vacation or while you're out with your family or while you're, while you're out at the movie theater with your chick, whatever the hell you do, you got Facebook ads running all damn day. People are clicking on your ads. People are going to your landing page. They're opting in. That email is then in a sequence, which are re which which those people are receiving. Those leads are receiving emails on automation on your behalf while you're doing what you do. So, 
don't think you can email these people yourself, you guys. Don't think you can grab a lead and then email that person yourself. Heck no, that is crazy. You don't want to be doing that. You got to automate it. And so Kartra is the software for it all. All right, guys, so hope you found value. I'll see you guys on the next video over now.